Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Nick. I am a program manager here at Google Cloud, and I have the pleasure of bringing to you today our Getting Started with Security Command Center series. Now, before we jump in really quickly, I'm going to throw a lot of information at you. So don't stress. I'm going to put all of the hyperlinks we talk about, all the areas I ask you to explore will all be linked in our community post and our YouTube channel where this is going to live. So whether you're joining us live or you're watching this on demand, you'll have access to all the hyperlinks and all the information. So just sit back, absorb some of the information we talk about this uh, afternoon, and we'll go from there. Good deal. So let's jump straight in. The four main goals I want you to get out of our session and time together is one, know how to get help with your technical questions or issues that arise. Learn about the resources that are available to you at any time. Know where to find the latest product release information. And then how to get connected with your peers and experts in our security community. That last one is going to be huge, but we'll cover lots of that. So the three main pillars of what we're going to talk through today are our documentation. In here, we've got comprehensive guides, frequently asked questions, fundamentals, all of our product information lives in this documentation. We've put 10,000 plus hours into making sure that this documentation is pertinent, it's updated regularly, and it makes sense for you guys. Next, we've got our uh, security command center events, and those are going to be coming soon. We'll have customer meetups so that you and your peers can share some of the use cases you're working on, as well as webinars, just like we're doing right now, and additional events that will be coming soon. And then, uh, of course, if you want to stay tuned with all of that, we'll talk about how to get involved in our community space. You'll be able to engage with other peers and as well as some just general security industry experts. They'll all be in our Security Command Center community, and uh, we'll show you what that looks like here in a little bit. So first and foremost, I want to talk through the documentation that exists today. Um, first, you'll just jump into Security Command Center documentation at the top there, highlighted by the green box is our guides. We've got awesome comprehensive guides. There's quick starts. Uh, if you want to know step-by-step -step on how to set up the Security Command Center, um, if you want to know step-by-step -step on making sure your Security Command Center is optimized, we've got great information there. Jump in, get familiar. And then once you've done that, you can check out what the support offerings are. Uh, we've got a couple of different avenues for you guys to get support. You'll just go to that same space. You'll click on support highlighted in the red box there, and uh, it'll navigate you through whatever area of support you're looking for. Now, if you're looking to just access general resources, this could be pricing or this could be uh, better understanding the release notes. Go to that same space for documentation. You'll click on resources that's highlighted by that red box. And you'll see there's pretty much everything you need question-wise is going to be answered in that resources area. Now, this is probably my personal favorite part of our discussion today is going over the Security Command Center space on YouTube. Security Command Center now has a 13-part series that you can access at any time. It is called Getting Started with Security Command Center. And inside of the series... They talk about the differences of the platform offers, such as uh, event threat detection, web security scanner, data loss prevention, all of those different areas that will help you keep your application secure. So the hyperlink's there. You can jump into that YouTube playlist, watch it whenever you want at your own pace. Highly, highly recommend starting with that. You will get a ton of information. And then once you've digested that information and put some of that to use, you'll want to jump into our security community. Now, selfishly, I love the security community space because that's where I spend most of my time. But really quick, before we get into what that is, let's talk just a little bit about what the Google Cloud community is, what its purpose was, um, or what its purpose is. It was created to be a public online forum for all of our customers, our partners, and Googlers to come, talk, have meaningful connections, find answers, and share some ideas, and even build skills together. So there, here in the Google Cloud community, you can ask questions, you can find answers, you can talk to other Googlers who are working on specific products, you can stay up to date with what's the latest is happening, 
you can share all your feature ideas, read about other feature ideas, learn and grow. And then of course, just continue building your repu uh, reputation, grow your professional career. We want to help in all areas, not just with our products. So the three main pillars of the Google Cloud community security space specifically is our product discussion forums. Again, this is where you guys as customers, partners can come ask questions, have conversations with like-minded individuals, uh, talk with some Googlers, hear some expert opinions um, from industry experts. And then even further, that second pillar is community blogs. So this is where our leadership will post some of our technical content. We've got Google Cloud. We've got Google Cloud experts that are posting on a constant basis and it's accessible anytime you want. And now that last one is more of our expert events and we even have an AMA series coming. We'll have product managers and customer engineers. They will jump in on a series that we're gonna be calling Cue the Questions and uh, you'll be able to ask questions in real time about a whole breadth of different products within Google Cloud. And uh, we're really looking forward to that. So stay tuned in the community for more information on events and all of that fun stuff. So this is the part normally where I would just go over a couple of different slides on how to get involved in the community, how to log in. But instead of doing that, I'm going to just share my screen and we can go over all of that together. But once you log into the community, you'll know you're logged in by this avatar in the top right corner. And once that's there, you'll know you're logged in. You'll also see your username pop up here. What you're gonna do here is you're gonna scroll down to the discussion spaces and click on security. This is where you're gonna find the most pertinent information for uh, Security Command Center. Now, if you're looking specifically for Security Command Center items, you will find that we have a label created right here uh, you can click on that. It'll navigate you to all the posts that have that label. If you're still not sure that you're, you're unable to find the answer you're looking for, you can search it and it's all indexable. The whole site is indexable. So it'll pull from all the different forums. Um, maybe start there. That's a great place to start. If you're still not sure, of course, you can always ask a question yourself. Very simply, give it a subject, be as descriptive as possible in the body and then you have to give it a label. So it's specifically, if you're looking for Security Command Center, you'll give it a label. If you wanna give um, multiple labels, you are able to do that. So you're trying to figure out something with Chronicle and Security Command Center or Recapture, you can give it multiple labels. Uh, the only other area that I do wanna call out here is the Learning and Certification Hub. We have poured incredible amounts of man hours into making sure that our certifications are applicable, they're relevant, and I can't recommend getting certified enough. Uh, there's incredible, incredible opportunities that come from being Google Cloud certified. There's lots of information in here. If you have questions, you can jump into the learning forums, ask questions, see if any questions that you already have might have been answered. So that's just a really quick snippet on the Google Cloud community. Highly recommend that you guys jump in, get familiar with the security community um, and start a conversation, get to know one another. So with all of that being said, we've got a couple of next steps for you. They're very simple. First being sign up and engage with us in the community. We'd love to get to know you. We'd love to get to meet you, learn about what you're working on. And then second is familiarize yourself with the documentation that exists. Again, that's kind of going to be your lifeblood of what you're trying to accomplish. You want to access those uh, how-to guides as soon as possible. Jump into that YouTube series as soon as possible. It'll walk you through step-by-step -step everything you need to know. And then lastly, of course, set up your security command center. So with that being said, that is all the information I have for you today. I know we threw a ton at you. So again, if you have questions, if you have comments, concerns, join us in the security community. We'll love to meet you. We'll love to hear about everything you're working on. Get to connect with some peers and other experts. And until then, Good luck and we'll talk soon.